So you're asking me also, is it different between animal mind and, and human mind? There's a difference of degree of intelligence, but as being sentient, even now, scientists, the Cambridge Declaration on Animal Consciousness had gathered all the great uh, scientists of the time, including Christoph Koch, who is a hard-nosed uh, reductionist. He wrote a book called Confession from a uh, Romantic Reductionist. He's a disciple of Francis Crick and many others, physiologists, etc. They say that without any questions, uh, what they call higher animals, do have consciousness and even uh, some animals may have developed a consciousness through different pathways than primates and humans like birds you know pigeon and, uh, and 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 crows are extremely intelligent you know crows uh, caledonian crows can manufacture tools they can use tools in no in new ways that they don't use in nature when they're given to some tools in laboratory they're extremely smart yet yeah, they don't have the prefrontal cortex. So other pathways may also come to consciousness. So it's clear that a sentient being who makes the difference between happiness and suffering is one of the criteria uh, also found in animal. Now in terms of sheer intelligence, you know, um, we are smart. <laughs> Although bonobos are, are better at mental calculation than humans, and the animals do things that we can do. You know, bats fly in the dark thanks to their sauna. Migratory birds can fly 10,000 kilometers looking at the stars or polarized light. We can do that. So everyone has the skills that is needed to survive. But in terms of being conscious, we believe that it is the same. <laughs>